So how is everything today? It's good. Yeah? Here at UAB, we are piloting the use of telemedicine as a way to fully replace a comprehensive face-to-face -face visit for the home dialysis patient. So are you having any uh, belly pain? No. Any shortness of breath? No. All right. We'll go ahead with the physical exam, okay? Okay. All right. So let's do the, the stethoscope first. The reason we tried to do this was Alabama has one of the highest incidence of end-stage renal disease uh, in the United States. And Alabama, uh, like many of the states in the southeast, are extremely rural. So there are many patients who live in rural areas that have uh, little to no access uh, to subspecialty care like nephrology and dialysis. So the reason we're doing this is to bridge subspecialty care available at UAB uh, to areas that, that may not have them. The way we were able to achieve this was through a partnership between the University of Alabama at Birmingham and the Alabama Department of Public Health. So one of the hardest things to do in telemedicine is to get a place for the patient to go in the rural areas. By partnering with the Alabama Department of Public Health, we've, uh, we are able to have the patient have a site to go in each and every county in the state. Each county health department uh, has the equipment needed for telemedicine, uh, which is a computer screen, a stethoscope that we can place on the patient's test, and I can hear the heart and lungs on my side. The other thing that the Alabama Department of Public Health uh, has is a dedicated group of nurses that are dedicated to the health of patients, all patients, here in Alabama. And as part of this program, in order to fully replace a comprehensive telemed or face to face visit for a dialysis patient we needed the ability to draw labs and so the nurses at the Alabama Department of Public Health draw labs for us which are then sent to uh, central lab so that all the labs are standardized if I can provide a fully comprehensive telemedicine visit for a home dialysis patient which is some of the most complicated uh, visits uh, to do then I can do this for any patient so if I can do this for any patient, it means that the subspecialty and super subspecialty care that may only be available in a university setting, for instance, for rare diseases, can now be extended to every corner of Alabama. The uses are, are uh, amazing. The ability to use telemedicine to bridge gaps in care and education are, are tremendous. Right now, in order for widespread adoption of telemedicine, there has to be a mechanism by which uh, physicians and, um, uh, and originating sites where the patient presents to actually uh, bill. And currently, that is, is not really available. There are 28 states uh, in the United States that have uh, telemedicine parity acts, which uh, mandate that private insurers cover telemedicine visits. Uh, Unfortunately, Alabama is not one of them. Telemedicine is all about the patient, improving the quality of life and access to care. I mean, that is what it is for. And, and I mean, the examples are, um, are limitless of what I could say telemedicine could do. The real question is, is how do you organize it, organize it in Alabama so that telemedicine can do it?